Up to now, we've been thinking a lot about limits. We've been considering f of x when x is close to but not equal to a. Let's refine that a bit now. Instead of thinking about x close to a, I'm going to think about x close to the right side of a or x close to the left side of a. Let's see a precise definition. So to say the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right, I'm going to use this little plus sign to mean from the right, to say that this is equal to l means that f of x is as close as you want to l, so just like before, provided x is near enough a on the right hand side. So we're going to use the little plus sign to denote approaching from the right hand side. Now we can play the same game for approaching from the left hand side. So to say the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left hand side is equal to l means that f of x is as close as you want to l, just like usual, provided x is near enough a on the left hand side. Let's go see some pictures of this at the blackboard. It really helps to see a graph. Here's a graph of a made up function that I'm calling f of x. And you'll note that f has some issues at the input 3. There is an empty circle here and a filled in circle here. So if I plug in 3, my output value is 2. And indeed, if I plug in numbers that are just a little bit above 3, I get out numbers that are close to 2. On the other hand, if I plug in numbers that are a little bit less than 3, I get out numbers that are close to 1. We can summarize our observations with these two statements. The first is that the limit of f of x as x approaches through from the right hand side is equal to 2. And that makes sense because I can get the output of the function to be as close to 2 as I'd like if I'm willing to evaluate the function at inputs that are close to but just a little bit bigger than 3. Similarly, the limit of f of x as x approaches through from the left hand side is equal to 1. If you think back to the graph, I was getting outputs that are close to 1 if I evaluated the function at inputs which were close to but just a little bit less than 3. So in this case, the two-sided limit doesn't exist. I can't say that f of x is getting close to anything if all I know is that x is close to 3. But the left and the right hand limits do exist. I can say that f of x is getting close to 1 if x approaches 3 from the left hand side. And I can say that f of x is getting close to 2 if x approaches 3 from the right hand side. This situation comes up quite a bit where you compute and you find that the right and the left hand limits exist but they disagree and consequently the two sided limit doesn't exist. We can summarize it like this. If the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right is different than the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left, then the two sided limit, the limit of f of x as x approaches a, does not exist. It works the other way as well. If the limit from the right hand side is equal to the limit from the left hand side, let's call our common value l, then the two sided limit, the limit of f of x as x approaches a, no plus or minus, so this is just the usual old limit, then this limit exists and it's equal to that same common value, L. The homework will challenge you with many more situations of one-sided limits. If you get stuck, contact us. We are here to help you succeed.